Hello, I'm Dave from Dino PC, and these are the RX 470, 460, and 480. So, we're not going to bore you with most of the drivel drabble that we normally say on here. No, today we're going to get straight into the benchmarks right after we've told you the specs of these bad boys. Here we have the XFX RX 460. Here we have the 470, also from XFX. And here we have the 480. Guess where that's from too. So going over the price of these bad boys, first things first, we have the 8 gigabyte RX 480 at $239 or 220 pounds UK. The RX 470 at $179 or 170 pounds in the UK. And the RX 460, which comes in at $129 uh, dollars or not, uh, for the 4 gig version or $99 if you've got the 2 gig version, which is what we've got here, which is £99 or £135. And of course, we have benchmarked them, which we'll be showing in a second. Loads of graphs, we've actually done six benchmarks this time, and we benchmarked it inside this thing. This is our prototype of the GS6 gaming system, a kind of v low end VR high 1080p performance gaming system for under £700. We haven't released it to the general public yet because we're still working out what we're going to put inside it, but at the moment we have a 240GB SSD, an Intel i3 um, 6100, an FSP 500 watt power supply, uh, standard Intel cooler, and a case which we might talk about soon, but we might not be using this case, so there's kind of no point in talking about it. But anyway, that was our test rig for this. Oh, and uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, I guess. Anyway, that was our test rig for this particular uh, set of tests. And uh, we thought, well, as these are kind of budget cards, um, why shouldn't we use a budget PC rather than our normal i7 testing system? And that's what I did. And it also means that all of the results are very fluid as well, because all of them were done completely back to back, um, no settings changed or anything like that. So you know that you're getting some really good benchmarking here. Quickly going over the specs for the 470 then, we have uh, 2048 stream processors, a boost clock of 1206 megahertz, four gigabytes of VRAM, 4.9 teraflops of performance, 120 watt TDP, and it's obviously on the 14 nanometer FinFET chip process. Uh, as well as that, this one also comes with a 6-pin power connector, as does the standard one. The RX 460 has 896 stream processors, which has a boost clock of 1,200 megahertz. You can either have two or four gigabytes of VRAM, in this one we have two. 2.2 teraflops of performance power, a memory clock speed of seven gigabytes per second, and a TDP of 75 watts. And Interestingly, the power is actually not required normally, but on the XFX version we've got here, we do have a six pin power connector, but as it has got a TDP of 75 watts, normally you can draw that from the PCIe lanes. But I guess maybe after the RX 480s little shindig when they were saying it was drawing more power, they thought why not put a power connector. Either way, there's a power connector on this version, but um, yours may not if you buy one. So there you go. So that's all the specs out of the way, let's get right into the benchmarks. So here we are in the benchmarks. These are all of the average FPSs that we got with each and every one. Blue representing the RX 480, red representing the RX 470, and orange representing the RX 460. With Batman, we didn't actually have that much of a dip between the RX 480 and 470, but I think the two gigs of VRAM made a little bit of a difference in terms of performance with the 460. But as we get into the Valley benchmark, we can see there is a clear difference, a clear winner with the RX 480 pushing far, far ahead of the 460. For Valley, we got an average of 97.7 FPS with the RX 480. The RX 470, we had 85.3 and 66.5 with the RX 460. Again, we see a similar perfect trend with the rise of the Tomb Raider. 74.5 on the RX 480, 59.82 on the 470, and 39 on the 460. Before we go all crazy talking about the No Man's Sky benchmark, remember that this is a quite 
buggy game on PC, so your mileage may indeed vary. But on average, we got 64 frames with the RX 480, 58 frames with the 470, and 41 with the 460. As we move on to the temperatures with the RX 480, our top highest temp was 80 degrees. After 80 degrees, it ramped down its clock speed a little bit. And with the 470, we got 74 degrees. Again, slightly dampening the performance of itself when we hit that temperature and the RX 460 we had at a stable 60 degrees. Moving over to Fire Strike. This isn't Fire Strike Extreme, this is just Fire Strike. We had a score of 8,786 on the RX 480, 8,130 on the 470 and 4,955 on the 460. Back to the studio. Okay, so in most of those tests, we can indeed see that the RX 480 obviously comes out as king. Um, but not falling too far behind is the 470. It's the 460 that's the big um, downgrade there. But it does cost a lot less. For the two gigabyte version at 99 pounds, it is certainly, to me anyway, a particularly good bargain. This kind of thing I can see people using for things like CSGO, Rocket League, all those sorts of games. This would be the perfect card if you're interested in those um, kind of games as well. The 470 I see being used for things like Overwatch and Call of Duty at 1080p. And of course, if you want to play those super AAA games, then obviously you're going to go with the RX 480. Um, personally, if I was going for those AAA games, I would actually go with a 4 gigabyte version and maybe save myself 20 quid. Um, but We've got the 8 gigabyte version, that's all we got here, so that's what we had to test. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please smash that like button as it helps us out a lot. Last time I did one of these, we actually got a fairly balanced like to dislike, like, like to dislike ratio, so maybe this time, help us out. Smash that button if you enjoyed the video and want to see more verses. If you didn't enjoy the video, then make sure you leave a dislike, but please let us know why you disliked it in the comment section below, as that helps us improve our videos vastly. And finally, if you want to enter the cosplay competition, or indeed vote on the cosplay competition, the voting starts in a few weeks time, I believe, then, and earn yourself some awesome prizes, then there is a link in the description for that as well, for you to get yourself either a PC or some goodies like Razer headphones or like keyboards, mice, mice mats, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you go and check that out. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. What's your name? My name's Lewis. What's your game name? My gaming name? Yeah. I am the Hunger Hungarian. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, we go, we work out together. Look, lost weight. See, see, look at that. Yeah, he's like lost loads of weight. He like used to be a fat person. Like yeah, me. yeah, he used um, to be so this, that uh, that was just smaller than me. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And then now I am the obese one. And so now I am losing the weight. But he's, not this morning. He's trying to keep up. I am trying to keep up. I'm failing this morning. <laughs> he's like going like, probably he's like 20 kilos each hand, yeah, boys. And I'm just there like with my 10, like. Uh, uh, but what? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. You say nothing. <laughs> All right. You can go away now. Okay. All right. Cool. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> Stop looking at me, Carlos. An FSP 500 watt power support. Carlos, stop it.